Dr. Fall segment tonight, what is the status of the Susan Rice investigation? You may remember last week, headlines were made by the former national security advisor to President Obama when it was discovered that she was involved in NSA wiretap surveillance. Apparently, Ms. Rice looked at some of the dispatches and allegedly unmasked some of the Americans involved, which is not usually done. Fox News correspondent Adam Housley and Malia Zimmerman, an investigative reporter for FoxNews.com, have been working this story. They join us now from Los Angeles. So, Housley, where does the investigation, as far as Congress is concerned, stand right now? Well, we've been told, Bill, that members of the Intelligence Committee say the investigation is expanding right now. They say they'll look into allegations whether other Americans, including politicians, were possibly unmasked and had their information collected into the files, similar to what they did with the Trump team. They're also not going on record at this point, they say, due to the fact that there's an ongoing investigation. Also, they have their Easter break. Meantime, we've also been told the Senate's looking at doing the same thing. And together, they both tell me, members of both committees, that the information they continue to request from intelligence agencies now for over a month has been very little given. They say the FBI is being very difficult. We're told they just want to know about the unmasking. How frequent was this? Who was doing it? Uh, why were they being unmasked? Uh, and basically, as one said to me, they're going to have to turn everything over or we're not going to authorize the congressionally approved 702 program, which allows them to do this in the first place. So okay. uh, this investigation bill is full blown. Do we know, Malia, if the FBI, because Comey was dancing around it when he was asked about it, are they actively investigating the unmasking of Americans caught on taps? You know, there's a big question about the FBI's role in this and... You know, there's, there's concern in the House about just generally how the FBI is handling the case. Uh, we spoke with some members of the House Intelligence Committee who said they're very frustrated with the FBI. So I'm not sure how much um, active role in terms of what the FBI is actually yeah, investigating versus what it's actually... I don't even know. Do you know, actually... Housley, if the FBI is involved with this? Are they investigating it? Or... Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, I'm told, it's a web, and, and that there are obviously multiple agencies involved here, but they have to go through the FBI, with, you know, they have the, everything from the FISAs to the reverse targeting. So, yes, there, there is an FBI element here. The FBI, the NSA, of course, is involved, as yeah, well that, as the, the CIA. The NSA would be the agency to turn over the logs um, to the Senate and House Intelligence Committees. They, they're right. the ones that are did the tapping, and they're the ones that allegedly Susan Rice and others asked to see what they had come up with and then asked for Americans to be unmasked. So is it the NSA that's not cooperating with the uh, congressional committees, Malia? It's actually both the NSA and the FBI. In fact, we were told the FBI is much more difficult in terms of getting information. Uh, James Comey has not come back to the Hill to be interviewed. Of course, he's the FBI director. Right. And also, a hundred questions that they're supposed to have answered haven't been answered. And the FBI, in their defense, says, well, we're preparing the information. We want to make sure it's accurate before we send it. But it's been four weeks, Bill. Okay, explain, explain the hundred questions, Malia. What are the hundred questions? Who, who wrote the questions and where did they go? Sure. So during the open house hearing, which was in uh, March, around March, uh, around March, uh, the third week of March, they had an open hearing on Capitol Hill, and it was in the House Intelligence Committee. And the House members asked uh, James Comey, and as well as uh, Admiral Rogers, who's the NSA director, a hundred questions that they did not answer. They said they couldn't answer it, and so they were supposed to go into closed session and actually answer these questions in private and not in front of the media, not in front of the public, but that was never done. And James Comey has not come back to the Hill. The hundred questions haven't been answered, and wow. so there's still a great mystery right. in and terms had, of what the answers are. You would think, Adam, and we've that... Had to add Go yeah, ahead. adding to Malia, we've also had people on both parties question the FBI's actions here and say they're only, and the other agencies are only getting little bits from. Okay, but you've got to get uh, the Attorney General now involved, uh, Jeff Sessions, because he's Comey's boss. And he can say, look, you've got to answer this, that, and the other thing. But we don't know, the folks don't know much about this. This is why I'm doing this segment. Everybody goes, hey, the big deal last week, a lot of partisan stuff in there, and then boom, we don't know anything. So in your investigation, Adam, where are you? What are you looking at? 
Well, I remember also when this came out, Bill, um, then you had the Syria airstrikes, which of course took over the news cycle. And, then, and of course, everything nowadays is made political. Uh, and, and in our case, you know, with our story, the idea here is to get it right. As you know, that's always been our, our, our goal on this. I've been doing this for you, you know, with you actually and for Fox for 15 years. So in our investigation is to go through and get the information that we can get. Remind you, this is delicate information, sensitive information. A lot of it's classified, which we're not allowed to see. These are individuals that really have nothing to gain but everything to lose who we're talking to. And so our number one priority is to get it right. And so, so what are you trying to get right, so though? Far, where, where, what path are you on? We have the exact same questions that the committees have. I mean, what was being done here? Was this more than just the Trump transition team? Was it more than, as Susan Rice explained last week and earlier in a PBS interview, which didn't really seem to match? Um, was, were other people caught up in this? Um, you know, and, and we are, are getting a lot progress? of very good information about are this. Are you making any progress? Um, you yeah, any we're, making we're absolutely making progress, but it's because of the, the sensitive nature um, yeah, and so you many gotta, different ways and the classification. Wrong. And it's... You know, no, and also the classifications, Bill. It's not like, you know, some stories you can go right after it because there's no classified information yeah. here. You just got to find the people and, and right. get the information out of them. Now you have to find the people, get the information out of them that you can get in the right and safe and obvious and honest and at the same time a way it's, it's a not going to get you in trouble with authorities. Slog. Malia, last question. Um, it is. Do you expect a whistleblower to come forth because that would break the case wide open? Do you expect that to happen? That would. In fact, when we talked with the House Intelligence Committee, they said they're hoping that some of the people who have talked with Adam and I will come forward and mention uh, what they've you know, told us, some of the things that we're, we're working on, uh, that we're investigating. We'll also tell the House Intelligence Committee because that would really start, a new, start it uh, yeah. to expand you its investigation even further. You need somebody, you need a further. face, you need some context and all of that. So. We'll see. It's Thanks. difficult, though, Bill, because they have, uh, you know, they're all in their jobs right now. They all have jobs in the, yeah, in the, the intelligence Trump, industry. Remember, the Trump administration is sympathetic to this investigation. And that's for, why they're more interested yeah, in talking. Yeah, for political, for political reasons, of course. Yeah. All right, keep this posted, yeah. guys.